Well, this is my van. So I just bought this van last week and I guess this is day one of building it up. So essentially I bought this van because I had these plans to be traveling. I was supposed to move to New York City for a year. And of course, when COVID hit, everything got canceled. So I had all this saved up money. Um, of course, I still wanted to be traveling, but with uh, Western Australia having its hard borders up, I thought, why not do something within Western Australia? And so that's when I bought this van. So my van is a 2011 Ford Transit. It's a medium wheelbase and it had 148,000 kilometers on it. And it's a six speed turbo diesel manual. Um, so it's not the biggest of vans. I know a lot of people have really tall vans that you can stand in. In this one, I can stand in it, but anyone taller than me could not stand it. But yeah, this is day one of starting to take this stuff out so that I can get started on a build. just removed this step it's so dirty so I've removed that step now I think the last thing I need to remove is this silver kick thing um, and then I should be able to take the floor out hopefully My hair is a mess. Um, so I managed to get most of the things out of the van. I managed to get out the floor. I took off the little wood things that we had going on the wall. There was like a metal strip there. And the last thing I wanted to get out is this black strip along here because there's so much dirt underneath it. I managed to get all the screws out except one. So this little guy will not come out. So I'm trying to think of what I can do to try and get it out. done with cleaning it and scrapping it out as part from that one little black strip that I wasn't able to get out but I'll deal with that later um, and so now I have like a blank canvas to start planning what I want to do with it uh, took me a couple of hours to do all of that honestly the worst part was trying to get it clean because it was so dirty underneath there um, there's still a lot of little holes in the bottom that I need to seal up but I'll probably do that next time because I need to go and buy a few things Here's to getting started with this fan build. One thing I just forgot to film was doing the outline on the plywood for the floor. So I've got 9mm plywood, um, not sure if that's necessarily what's recommended for it to be thick enough but that's just what um, I decided to go with. And then here, these boards we have on the side here, that is what was on the floor already. Um, so a lot of people will rip that out and use that to do the outlines on their plywood and that is just what I've done. So done some outlines um, and the way that I've done it is the main, like with this big piece of plywood here is going to be the main area near the side sliding door um, just because I don't want to have any seams or anything like that where I'm going to be walking most often and that is where that's going to be. 
Um, and then you can see I've got another one here that's just going, going to go down the side. And then hopefully I'll have enough to do the bottom of the van. I'm walking, but all these thoughts are running. Yell and catch me if you can, and I'm wondering if I should chase behind or stop wondering and try to take a stand. Oh, and they keep asking where the hell I'm going. Who I'll be for the rest of my life? Well, I don't know where time is gonna take me. I'm just trying to take my time I'm dreaming And my coffee is steaming Getting colder with time And I'm wondering If maybe all this Is better left to the night Oh, but lately I've been having trouble sleeping I just toss and turn all night And I don't know where time is gonna take me No, I'm just trying to take my time I've just been wiring the van And it's been like not as bad as I thought it would be this was gonna be like the hardest thing to learn but my dad managed to like teach me most of like the basics as far as wiring it and like how it's gonna work later um, and I had a pretty good idea of like where I wanted things to be so it wasn't too bad um, but I thought I would give a couple of little tips because um, I feel like there's not really many of like the basic stuff explained and like how people are wiring it um, so I thought I would do that down here um, just behind the passenger, sorry, the driver's seat. That's where my batteries, like my starter batteries are kept. And so this is where I'm planning on putting my auxiliary, um, auxiliary batteries and like all the kit and everything for the wires. So this is where I've got quite a bit of extra length as advised by my father. And biggest tip is label every single one of these. As soon as you've got two, like even when I first had two, I was like, oh, maybe I can label it later. But literally like as soon as you have two that like look similar, it already starts to get confusing and your brain starts going, what, which one is it? So label them as soon as you can, or not as soon as you can, as soon as you start. That is going up over here, coming out here. And this is where my main kind of control center is gonna be. That's where I'm gonna have light switches. That's pretty much the main thing. And I'm also gonna have a plug there. So light switch is coming out to this one here. That says switch, if you can see that. And then I've got um, a smaller cable for the um, 12 volt lights because they don't need as thick wires. Um, I'm then also gonna be having a 12 volt plug here. So that's that one. Um, and yeah, so that's all coming out there. And so I have wired things like a 12 volt plug coming out to here. I've wired um, lights. I've wired a 12 volt fan. Literally all of this has been taught to me by my dad. I did not know anything. Um, and my dad's an engineer and he's got a lot of experience with electrical stuff. So some of the stuff isn't necessarily the standard of what people were recommending you to do. Like a lot of people will run these through conduit. Um, but my dad, as an engineer and a lot of experience, he was like, okay, like conduit's gonna be difficult to manage. Um, so what we're gonna do once it's all wired up, we're gonna go through to like every single point where there could be like a cord rubbing and we're gonna wrap the cords and do what we can to make sure that it's not gonna be rubbing and then of course like in these little bits we're gonna cable tie all the wires together so they're not like rattling around so much um so yeah that's a bit of information on that i know i haven't been like doing a best job of like vlogging everything and talking you guys through what i've done um but honestly it's because i am making it up as i go along i have no like building experience i've hardly ever used power tools but i'm determined to be the main person like doing this job and getting my dad to show me things and not just getting him to do things for me um so another thing i didn't show you guys earlier was how i sealed up the little holes in the van 
Um, and this was a tip I've learnt from Lewis the Van, so definitely go follow them if you haven't watched them before. They're amazing and really like probably one of the best guides for how to do things. Um, so I'll show you. There are some little holes underneath here that I've sealed up in the same way and pretty much I've used a coin, I've used um, silicone, like adhesive silicone, so most people use Sikoflex. I've used uh, Sally's, I think that's the brand. A different brand, slightly cheaper, literally the exact same thing and that is like super stuck in there, not going anywhere. Coins there, you can see more coins here. And so literally like all of these are from Sri Lankan coins or Malaysian coins which like I'm not planning on going there anytime soon and they're probably worth like a couple of cents. Um, so that is what I did to seal up all the holes and there's a whole heap underneath here sealed up that way as well. So I'm going to finish wiring up the couple of last things that I need to wire and then I'm going to figure out what's going to be the best way to insulate all the cavities in here or starting on the bottom ones. Um, so yeah. I don't know where time is going to take me. No, I'm just trying to take my time. Coffee is steaming, getting colder with time, and I'm wondering if maybe all this dreaming is better left to the night. Oh, but lately I've been having trouble sleeping. So, as you would have seen, I just started insulating a bunch of the things in the van. And now, before I insulate this top bit, I am just going to be cleaning up these wires. So, essentially, I'm going to be wrapping them with some electrical tape in some bits where they may rub. And then I'm also going to be using cable ties just to keep them all nice and tightly together. And I'm wearing a face mask because I don't want to be breathing in all the stuff from the insulation. <laughs> Alright, let's do this! Just gonna take my time. 